mean, it's a great place to sail. It's the best place in the world, the coastline and you know, the islands. I think it's as competitive uh, big boat class as I've ever seen. This is uh, you know, a testament to what, what the club here does and what Rolex does, and um, people notice. Getting these boats together in the same water is such a, an incredible spectacle. Sailing is going through a, a historical time right now of innovation, and this event is the perfect example. This is a great opportunity to, uh, to go out and, and feel the, the vibe of the racing here. Totally up to it, and the races are timed and everything perfect. Well, I think first of all, uh, just the surroundings over here is why all the boats are coming over here. That's the first thing because it's not only uh, the, the guys who are racing and the girls, but as well the owners, of course, they have, very often have their families with them. There's, there's a lot of other things to do over here as well. And then, of course, the, the Yacht Club is doing a fantastic job organizing it over here because it's always one of the best organized events in the Met. Porto Cervo is one of the best places, a, a beautiful Yacht Club, a great organization. This is what uh, all the owners want, and that is one of the reasons for this success. We are very fortunate to have this coast here and very fortunate to have these wind conditions. Uh, everybody that comes here in, enjoys this very, very special place. And the sailing world is an ever-changing world. It will not stop. And we have to be open to these changes, recognizing our foundation. The very important things for us is the youth, the youth, the youth. What do we do in the future? Where are we in 10 years? Huh? And I think you can only do this if you appreciate and respect your past, but if you're not too preoccupied with your past.